I have plans. I have a giant pile of fabric next to me. When do I not? I have almost cleared my to be made pile. Vogue 9076 is still there. Although I have made progress on that, cut all the interfacing out for it. And I have a shirt from some flamingo fabric that needs to be sewn up. Both of those should be quite quick projects once I get around to them. So I did say that July was going to be Gertie month and I still want to do that. I have three Gertie projects next to me and then three bonus projects if I get through those ones we shall see first up the Lucille trousers now I am going to be doing trouser month I have all of my trouser fabrics back here but I want to try these ones first before I do my trouser sloper because there's a lot of fitting advice for these already out there and they look amazing on everybody that's made them up and I think they would be quite easy trousers to do because there aren't loads of bells and whistles on these it's I think a side zip or a back zip and there are pockets but yeah I, I I think I'm going to be able to manage these from the pattern with all of the help that comes along with Gertie's patterns. So I have this beautiful red wool suiting that I got from Lady McElroy. I've forgotten the name of the person who gave me the voucher for this again. I'm so sorry. I did feature it in the video where I talk about my Gertie plans and I will be putting it on screen here but thank you very much for sending me the voucher. I absolutely love this wool. I have six meters of it so I'm hoping I will be able to get the Lucille trousers, a lady dandy waistcoat which is my other the Gertie project for this month and possibly a skirt of some description out of this fabric as well. They don't have any more of this so I can't purchase more to make the matching jacket which I possibly would, would enjoy but it's more likely that I will probably wear the waistcoat and trousers and, and, and trousers and skirts than I would the jacket so I'm pretty happy with my plans for the six meters. I love this i've got the full lining to go with it as well so yeah it's going to hopefully be the lucille trousers and the lady dandy waistcoat and i think it's going to look amazing especially as i am going to pull my finger out and get the rita blouse done the patreon peeps vote, voted for this to be my first gertie pattern so i am going to tackle this one first and i do have three fabrics here to attempt to make this up in now i have heard a few things like it's going to need to be lengthened above over the bust because of the length of my torso so I'm, I'm interested to see how this one comes out I am a patron of Gertie's so I do have the full bishop sleeve as on for this pattern as well so I have three fabrics here one of them is the leftovers from my PJs this stripy cotton poplin and this is going to be my wearable muslin fodder I am going to make this one up first hopefully it will fit hopefully it will look amazing if I do need to make any minor tweaks to it I can then do it with this fabric that the very lovely Anna gave me for my Christmas birthday this is a beautiful viscose and I'm going to use the long bishop sleeves for this one because I think that will make it really really lovely top I think it's going to go really well with the trousers as well i'm not sure how the waistcoat is going to look over it but it's going to be interesting we shall see but yeah i'm looking forward to making the long sleeve version with this and then i also have some liberty carline cotton poplin in the smaller ditzy kind of print now i've got a lot of this i think i've got five meters of this so obviously i am not going to use all of that in a rita blouse so i'm thinking i'm going to make a matching skirt now I know I don't wear skirts and tops separately very often but I love the idea of having the two together so it's going to look like a dress which is probably how it will get worn most often. There is actually a hack for turning the Rita Blouse into a dress and I did think about going down that route with this particular fabric but you guys talked me out of it. You did say separates would be more versatile so I'm going to give that a go. If they only get worn together to look like a dress it's not going to be the end of the world but it'll be nice to have the option of having separates if I want them. So that's what this is going to be and I'm probably going to do a tiered and gathered skirt with whatever I've got left from this because I love that skirt shape and I think it's going to be really interesting to do it in cotton poplin because I've done it in lawns and viscoses so far so cotton poplin has a little bit more structure in it so it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. So those are my three Gertie projects. Rita blouse, dandy waistcoat, Lucille trousers. I as I say am filming this on the 14th of July so I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do the next three projects but I do have them out and ready and raring to go. First up is another Patreon voted for pattern it's the McCall's 8177 the Ashley. Now I was going to do this out of some lemon viscose that you can just see up there but I do need to fully line that viscose because it is 
see-through basically and I don't have any lining at the moment so I dug through my stash and I pulled out this five meters my battery's dying, two secs. Sorry, where was I? Yes, I dug out this viscose from my stash. It is one that I got from the textile centre years ago. I have five metres of it and I am going to make the maxi dress, the strappy one, without any sleeves on it. I think it's going to be a really lovely summery dress because it's skimming but it has no waistband for like really tightly being cinched at the waist. You can, however, make a belt to go with it, which I will do because, as we all know, I do like to tightly cinch at the waist. Although in high high heat it's not the most favorite thing that I've ever done ex or experienced. I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous and peeps have asked for a sew along for this one so that is hopefully going to happen in July if I get through the Gertie things first. That's the plan. And then the other two fabrics I have beside me are pipe dreams I think but I did order this linen chambray from Lady McElroy for my birthday. I have two and a half meters of it. I was going to make a skirt but it's very very lightweight so I think I'm going to turn it into a 9345 dress but I'm going to take the revere and the collar off so it looks like the pinafore dress which I think could be quite useful in my wardrobe as maybe a layering piece later on in the year. I really like the 9345. I think this is going to look amazing again I have lining that will go with this so it would be really nice to get this made up and have a solid red piece in my wardrobe because I really do love this color so that's a possibility that is a really quick make so it might actually happen and then the final thing that I have is the Vogue 9182 which again is an outstanding patreon voted for sew along and they voted for this particular fabric again a linen viscose I have been procrastinating on this for years now I thought suddenly thought oh that fabric the patreon peeps voted for has got red flowers in it it could look really really cool with this month's picks so I pulled it out again it's one of those ones where I love the pattern I picked I love the fabric the peeps picked I've just never gotten around to it I do want to have a play around with the back neckline of this because I can see me making this as a pinafore dress again to be worn over other things shirts and shirt dresses although with this one I'm thinking the low scoop back might be quite nice although it has got a low scoop front so I don't know we'll see but that's only if I get all the other things done as I say and I have any time left in July we shall see if I get caught up in time because I do only have two projects cut out behind you and that's one two three four five six six projects one of which I want to make three times that's doable right totally doable yeah <laughs> nothing like biting off way more than I can chew we shall see I think I can get the Gertie projects done which is my goal for July and it would be really nice to get some of those ticked off of my make nine because I haven't done any we're halfway through the year now so that's that's the very minimum that I'd like to get done in the rest of this month yeah which one are you looking forward to seeing made up let me know in the comments down below I think I'm excited I'm excited about all of them but I, I think I'm most excited about the Rita blouse because I have so many teeny tiny lengths of fabric floating around that I'm keeping for the perfect top i love the by hand london anna i just don't wear it very often because i don't wear separates very often so it'd just be nice to have a variety of tops that i can make from under a meter of fabric so you guys don't get totally totally bored of me just churning out annas that i rarely rarely wear i need to do a separates challenge this time of the year don't i because the last time i did it it was the dead of winter and i did say i was going to try again in the in the warmer months to see how i got on with the short sleeve summery tops that i've got hmm maybe that needs to be something that happens next month we shall see but yes let me know in the comments down below which one you're looking forward to seeing most i think it's the rita tops for me if you've enjoyed this video you might want to check out this one here